With Alex the Monitor story being a side story and not a full-blown story, I wanted to kind of keep the idea of a timeline important in this. It's very strange to kind of kind of reference the original Monitor, but not reference it at the same time. Monitor, as I say, was done in 2017 within a timeline. Now, during that time, there's a five-year gap from 2017 to 2022 so 2022 is basically when everything stops and Sundry is m meeting up with the journalist and says look you know I know everything about what sickness does they're a force to be reckoned with people are gonna die they're gonna do things that are worse you need to stop me before something happens because Sundry and Searcher are both the same thing so Sundry's kind of acting out from Searcher's subroutine. So there's all this kind of weird kind of story between Sundry and Searcher. And it's something I really wanted to kind of explore more because Sundry, I find a fascinating character. And in, in an Alex, a monitor story, you find out she's only two years old. So she sounds very different. She's kind of young and more honest and blunt than she was in the original monitor. Statistics show that you have a 16% chance of meeting Alex McClare in person. In the story, you find out that Rooker uh, created Searcher and then forgot to take out some subroutines from Bologna. And this is kind of carried on and it's created Sundry in a later time and date because she learned that she didn't want to do what she was doing. So Viola's story, uh, which is unlocked by getting cassette tapes and doing little puzzles within the game, is about how Cygnus was created. During 1981 to 1988, that you could consider that almost like the golden years of Cygnus, as Viola and Jack Carter are actually partners and they give birth to James. So they create Cygnus through their, through their actions and they kill a guy called Harold who was part of the old order. So Cygnus has kind of got this cyclical kind of feeling to it that people don't get with the program, they have to go. And Sundry kind of realises that, and that's where the all and Sundry ending comes from. So Viola's character, she's very strong-willed, very beautiful, and knows what she wants from life. And meeting Jack, she knows that from this brief encounter where the story goes, is that her whole life will change, and she knows it. So in a way, Alex and Viola are very, very kind of close in what they want to get out of life, but they're very different at the same time. Um, you do find through one of the endings that Alex almost mirrors Viola in a way in the fact that she ends up with a kid and also as well it was something else I really wanted to explore with Alex that maybe underneath all this sarcastic bravado that she was a really loving person and she would go to the ends of the earth for the pe people that she loves. Maybe if I ever came back it would, nice, it would be nice to kind of go through this timeline of who Alex was and how she kind of mirrored Viola in a way but she wasn't as maniacal and evil but she had a opportunity to do so. The timeline of Monitor is massive and there's so many different stories you can get out of it. There's always the po possibility that I may come back to this one day but I need to kind of flesh out some more ideas because you never know, you don't want the whole thing to get stale do you?